Hello, this is StyleCon coming to you today from location at the Tobacco Company in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. We're having a beautiful day here. It's about 80 degrees. I'm smoking on a Rocky Patel Super Ligero cigar, and I'd like to talk to you about the Rolex Submariner Killer. If you don't know anything about this particular watch, I would recommend you read up on it and its certifications. And that watch that I'm talking about is the Cardi A Dive 300 wristwatch. This thing is a piece of artwork. It's obviously a better looking watch than the Submariner, has an updated design, and the testing that it has to go through to get its dive certification is beyond belief. If you look it up, it's called ISO 6425 certification. Now, we all know Rolex has their watches certified to be chronometers. This takes it to another level. Now, Rolex is a private company. They are very secretive. If you read anything about Rolex or if you watch any videos about Rolex, they are a very private company. They don't let all their information out. So, to be quite honest, I'm not 100% certain that all my information is correct that I'm giving you. I can only give it to you from the Cartier side because they're open. They're letting me read the information that they put out about the watch. And of course, the certification company they published their information so you can read up on it for yourself and you'll find out what this watch has to go through. Now, obviously the Submariner and the Dive 300 are in the same price range, around $8,500. So it makes it for a great comparison, but then that's where everything falls off. The Cartier, if you look it up, is a much better looking watch. The visual appeal of it, you can't compare the two. Rolex, which I've never been a big fan of. So needless to say, I'm not trying to bash them. I know they make a great watch, but needless to say, the visual appeal isn't there. It's the same tired old design, if you ask me. Obviously, it works for them. They sell more watches than any other luxury brand. So keep it up, Rolex. Do what you do. But there's a new kid on the block that's getting ready to take over your title if more people would find out about it. If, like I said, if you look up that ISO uh, 6425 certification, you'll find out what this watch has to go through. And I'll just give you some brief examples. They test the spring bars on the watch, which is, to me, unheard of. Who tests the spring bar on the watch? The Cartier Dive 300 is tested for that. This watch is, is soaked in uh, salt water for 24 hours, brought back up just to test the corrosion on the stainless steel that's being used or the gold that they're using. Uh, the strap is tested. Uh, uh, it's tested for condensation. They'll bake the watch on a plate. If you Obviously, if you read up on this, you'll know and just to put a drop of water on it to see if any condensation gets inside the case. Any of the watches that don't pass this test fail. And what I like about this test, as opposed to being uh, COSC certified, is when, when you're certified to be a chronometer, the movement is outside of the case. Then you put it in the case. That can change things. Whereas with this Cartier Dive 300 wristwatch, all the tests are done when the watch is completely finished. So if any of the watches don't pass this particular test, the movements are all scratched. They have to start it all over again. And they might even have to rebuild the cases just so it can pass these tests. If you can tell me in the comments, what other dive watch goes through a test like this? Let me know because from what I've read, there are very few that do it. Now, with this test, all you have to do is be able to meet 300 meters of water resistance. Rolex does 300 meters, and Cartier takes it to 300 meters of water resistance. But the tests aren't the same. So, 
if I was going to buy a, a, a watch in the $8,500 price range and I wanted a diver's watch, I would definitely check out the Cartier. Check out the Rolex, too. I mean, the Rolex might be your style. I'm not knocking it. What I like, and I'm, which I'm really impressed, if you can't tell by the tone of my voice, is the testing that is done to this Cartier watch. From the, the case, uh, to the crown, to the... Uh, spring bars i mean it's amazing and i would put this the, on the top of my list if i was looking for a dive watch at the current time this is StyleCon. thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below i do plan on putting out more content in the future if you like please subscribe and as usual i'll see you in the next video